everybody, it's Ollie, and welcome to an edition of Coffee with Ollie. And as you guys all know, Coffee with Ollie combines two things that I love. Well, maybe even three. Chatting, because I love chatting. Coffee and photography. And I just want to show you, before I get started, that Sierra bought me, like, the perfect Christmas present. And it's this shirt. All I need is coffee and my camera. And that's pretty true. There may be some lighting and my Photoshop and, you know, some gels, but you know, anyway. So for today's episode, I'm gonna be giving a very quick, very short Photoshop tutorial on what I like to call body swapping. Body swapping, you say? What is body swapping? How many times do you get into a photo shoot? And you know, I, I, I don't know. I always find that I'm thinking about a thousand things in a photo shoot. And I'm thinking about my lighting and I'm thinking about is that hair light hitting the back of her head exactly the way I want. And I'm thinking about my model. And I'm thinking about the expression. And I'm thinking about the poses. And sometimes it doesn't all come together in a single shot. Sometimes it almost comes together in a single shot and then I see something like her hand isn't where I wanted it. I've even had times where I had a crop where I cut off someone's like fingertips or like hand or something and sometimes if you've got another shot and it's all the same lighting and it's the same angles you can make it work in Photoshop. You can swap something out from one image to another image. Now another time that this is useful is when you're doing group shots. So if you did shoot families or you're just doing a group of whatever and everybody wants to look good and somebody blinks but everybody else looks good and then that person that blinked looks good but then somebody sneezed and you just don't have a single shot with everybody looking good. You could do a head swap which is very similar to a body swap and if you follow this tutorial, same thing, it'll work. So you're gonna see that I do this in about under three minutes. So here we go, we're gonna do a body swap because you can see I have a lovely hand position here, but I like the teapot and I like her expression and I've left some space over her head here. So I've got both images selected and I'm going to just go into Photoshop, edit in and open as layers. I don't, I really want the one with the hand on the bottom, but we'll see what we get on the other side. It's easy to swap. So there's the hand position, and I'm going to actually pop the hand. Now, these are not going to be a perfect match in the beginning, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the top one, because I did not shoot these on a tripod, and I'm going to change to difference. And now I'm going to kind of get these guys to line up. So I'm going to, load, I'm going to take the bottom one, and I'm going to do a Command T, and what I really want to get to line up is her shoulder. Because if I get her shoulder to line up, then I should be able to make this work. Right, so that's pretty good on the shoulder. So get rid of the, tr change this back to normal and throw a mask, hit my brush tool, Make sure it's at 100%, and we're going to have a little bit of work to do here, but let's start off with getting her hand where I want it. Okay. So, you know, you, you kind of get to this... Well, to this transition area and you got to get make it work so I'm gonna leave it right about here and yeah there's a lot of more work to do whoop, whoop, look at that I forgot something right here there we go. okay so her shoulders lined up and now you can see that her hand well actually I have to do it this way disable layer mask boom there's the old hand position enable layer mask there's the new hand position it looks very natural and I can continue my edit from here. So that is a body swap. 
And that's it. You pick your two images, you open them up as layers in Photoshop, you put your main image on top, you then change the upper layer to difference mode, you transform the lower layer, and you align the thing that matters, and that's gonna change with every image. Once you get that alignment, you go ahead and put the top layer back to normal mode, you add a layer mask, and you mask in the part that you want from the lower layer. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have to do a little bit of clone stamping and things in this particular case, it lined up beautifully and I didn't have to do all that. But I always do a swap first before I do anything else. If I'm gonna swap something, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And then I will actually merge it all and, and work from there. Do my skin cleanup, do my dodging and burning, do everything else from there. And that's today's tip. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see other tips. And put something in the comments. Did you learn something? Do you want to learn something different? And I'll talk to you next week, every Friday at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye. Shirt from Sierra. Ooh, I got a new shirt. I love my new shirt. I love my new shirt. I love my new shirt.